Hi, this is uh, Stratman from pipware.com. Uh, this is another lesson in my series today. We're going to be talking about uh, Fibonacci retracements and how important they are. Uh, I'm doing this video as a, a series of lessons for the forum thread I have running on Forex Factory. Um, I'll show you an example of a Fibonacci um, setup. Uh, 14 hours ago, I was looking at the pound and uh, I, I kind of drew up my fibs and uh, this was the result was I was able to show uh, basically it's a little bit hard to see um, but we'll go into that in a minute um, because this is zoomed out quite a bit but what, what we can see here is these we've got brown lines and green lines these were Fibonacci um, Fibonacci retracements based on on certain time frames and you can see very well that price respected these retracements as support and resistance lines all the way up here. Uh, incidentally, this pattern here, uh, based on those retracements, ended up forming a head and shoulders. I said to uh, the forum here before any breakout occurred that, look, uh, we could get a better head and shoulders forming. There's a shoulder there, a head. Here's the neckline right on a Fibonacci number. Um, we could get another better shoulder maybe and a bounce down and we could get a just a straight out breakout of this and straight down. Now uh, I've drawn here that the target is another Fib number and it, it's very coincidental, well it may not be coincidental that the, the distance from the top of the, the head here, the middle the highest peak down to the neckline, if you measure that distance and then project it down from there you get exactly onto this line here. So that's a good long term target. We're looking at the H4 time frame. So this is giving us a, a heads up on what could be happening here uh, very shortly for the future. I'm going to show you how I marked this up and, uh, and give you an understanding of how to use Fibonacci for your trading. Just, just move this out the way and we'll go to my uh, trading platform here. The, the big thing is that that you need some good good uh, swings to be marking your uh, your fibs up on and the problem with this video is that I have to have a, such a low resolution screen here to ensure that uh, you get good clarity to be able to see what, what you're seeing here. I've got my dashboard here and one of the things I want to do is move the dashboard out the way but, but maintain the support and resistance lines we've got here that have been created by the dashboard. Many of you probably don't realize that you can you can do that. So I'm going to open the dashboard up and uh, just make sure that certain things are set. What I've done is at the moment the, the highlight color there in the background is um, blue. I'm just going to change that back to what I like, which is this is the SR line colors. Just going to change that. I quite like a very dull color for those lines because I like my candles to stand out really well. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to remove the stochastics oscillator which creates the window at the bottom. What that will do is because there's nowhere to put the the dashboard that will disappear. So, But the functionality of the dashboard painting stuff on this window will remain. So let's remove the stochastics. We've still got the put where dashboard attached but watch how that will disappear. Okay, so the dashboard disappears, but all the stuff it draws on the main screen is still there. So you may be able to make out very faintly the support and resistance lines. So there's the day support, here's the uh, H1 resistance, there's the current H4 resistance. So once we've done that, we can then think about marking up our, our Fibonacci uh, retracements. Big thing here with candle patterns is that the higher time frames you go to yield the best consistency for for price following fib ratios and uh, candlestick patterns, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is we're on the pound. I'm going to go out to the the monthly um, chart, and what we're looking for is a significant push in one direction, and then then um, see that we've created a a swing which is a combination of five candles we've got um, the middle candle out of the five is protruding past the other four so this is considered a fractal swing and so that is a good point to draw our um, our fib from 
and so is this. Now let's just talk a little bit about Fibonacci. Fibonacci ratios are something that a, that a guy called Leonardo Fibonacci who lived in the 13th century um, discovered that all things in nature follow a certain sequence and particularly the spiral of seeds in a sunflower exactly ordered in the, in the Fibonacci sequence as uh, many other th um, occurrences in organic life. So what's happened is that people have taken that principle and considered that well most other things will probably follow those uh, those um, ratios as well. So on our MetaTrader platform we have a Fibonacci retracement tool and we're going to going to take it from the the start of a swing so this is another swing which is a five candle pattern so the fractal will be formed right on the top of this. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go all the way down to here. Now the idea of this this whole thing is that price will then retract back to one of these main ratios. So the main ratios we use in Forex are really the 38.2 and the 61.8 but the 23.6 and 50% are put in there for good measure because they're respected as well. Now I'm just going to change the colour of this um, just to something to make it not so pronounced. So this is on the monthly chart and uh, oopsie, changed the colour of the wrong thing there. Um, let's just change that fib again. Oops, if I can double click on it. Um, need to go here to change the colour of the actual lines. Sorry about that. Okay, and so now we've got our, our monthly uh, fib um, uh, drawn on the chart. Now we're going to go down to the next time frame, which is the uh, weekly and on the weekly we can kind of see that we've been range bound here so there is no real fib to draw um, although we could draw it on here but we'll see that more accurately on the daily time frame so let's just go down to the daily time frame and uh, as you can see we can see quite clearly the last um, swing here on the daily time frame was from uh, this point here up to this point here so let's mark that on there and uh, again, we're going to change the colour of that uh, to something that just shows the difference between the two of them. I'm just going to change it to goldenrod. And uh, now we've got the green one showing and the uh, and the daily one showing. So the green is the month. The we didn't really have one on the weekly. Um, we've drawn it on the daily. Now we're just going to go to the H4 time frame and kind of zoom out a bit so we can see the big picture. And we zoom out again, and clearly, if we if we look at this, uh, you can surely you can clearly see that these lines here are just fully respected. Um, so you can see here that this line made here that is definitely a support and resistance line. This sixty one point eight, um, it's definitely been held as a, a support and resistance line. In fact. The retracement so and, and you even find the move that actually created us to put the fib on actually follows its own creation of uh, the fib line so even as this big move was created we had this one this one this one and this one all part of that move um, ended up there and then on the other side of the move we have the fact that it stalled here came down bounced off the 38.2 came up and then is broken through now I've uh, said that we had a uh, we're going to have a significant move, and uh, my my idea was that on the picture I showed you on Forex Factory we'd only got this far on the move, and this occurred straight after because we had a head and shoulders. Remember I said it could build more of a head and shoulders and go down. That that's kind of where our target will be, and uh, here we are. It actually and and or we could have a breakout and go straight down. And as you can see, it's come down and gone pretty close to 61.8 and then retrace back up, come back through and then it's now been been hitting off this. So this this support line that was here has now become resistance again and uh, clearly this Fibonacci stuff just really works. Now the, the big thing with this Fibonacci stuff for me is that I believe that people are using this Fib stuff so much in Forex that that people are now trading to the Fibonacci retracements which then causes them to be more uh, 
become kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So there you go, there's Fibonacci retracements and how they're used and how we can predict things with them. Cheers, we'll catch you on the next lesson.